What's up guys? So I figured I'd take a little break from some Diablo 3 and I've gotten to the point where I really enjoy playing that game. I know a lot of people will burn out on it right now, but I took my time with it. Like I didn't go into that game thinking, hey, I'm going to play this till I'm tired of it like the majority of the gaming population seem to have done. But I'm still enjoying Diablo 3, but I was like, you know what, let's take a little break from that to sit down and play some Battlefield. And, you know, I hopped on Dutchie's stream last night, and he was streaming Battlefield, so I was like, alright, time to come in here and troll. Um, and you know, the funny thing about this game, it was a very unpopulated server. And that's something I've been looking for a lot lately. I've been looking for matches where it's either 8v8, you know, 5v5, 6v6, some some weird, you know, more number that's a little bit lower. It's not those, like, crazy, crazy, crazy 64-man um, servers. And that's just because I've kind of got the competitive bug from the PTFO tournament. And it's a shame that we're not in it uh, anymore. And, you know, I've posted a couple videos of that. Those are probably the last two I'll post. So if you want to check those out, I will link them at the end of this video. So you can check out games one and two. Um, they're two pretty awesome games, but I'm not gonna, I, I don't know if I'll post anymore. I might post the third game, um, the final um, attack on Firestorm. Um, but for the most part, I feel like you guys have seen it. You guys know what happened. There's no point in beating a dead horse, but I've gotten the competitive bug lately. I've been, um, I don't know, it just seems like, you know, my in my goal to get better at this game because, you know, I've said in the past, I am not that good at this game, guys. Like, I am above average, I guess, but I'm still just, you know, an average bear. I don't look at myself as a monster. Like, um, I've been trying to get my score per minute up to 600 like it was once upon a time before I started sniping. And it's been a struggle just because I don't have the patience to always use the M16. I don't have the patience to always use the M4 while an engineer. I have this some sort of like self pushing <laughs> um, characteristic that I always feel like I have to push myself to use um, and what how did that pallet get right there did it get like pushed forward I don't, I don't think I've ever realized that pallet is there because I don't think it is I think I think it got pushed that way that's kind of weird but uh, anyways I have like this self pushing characteristics where I always have to find myself trying out a new weapon trying to get games with something other than the mainstream guns and um, I guess I've always kind of lived my life like that. I've always tried to, you know, go a different path to try to be unique, try to uh, mix things up a little bit. Um, but lately I've been fooling around with some um, classes that I think work well and competitive, and obviously this is one of them. I have talked highly of this class in the past, the AEK with Laser Sight, Cobra, and Foregrip. Foregrip is because you're going to be in close quarters, there's no point in using anything but um, some people do use a heavy barrel, but um, oh man, this this is actually you know the first of a lot of plants on this objective, and I think I ended this game with seven plants. I did cut out the first attack um, because at at the start I was on the other team until I switched, so maybe the joke's on me. But um, I do plant a lot of objectives, so PTFO all the way. Um, but yeah, what was I even talking about? Oh, AEK, AEK with laser sight and foregrip. I don't like I don't really like the heavy barrel up close, and I found the AEK is more of a you know, close quarters, oh, I tried to shock him. Tried it, I tried it. But I, I can't seem to kill people with those stupid paddles. Like, I've seen other people do it, but it seems like every time I try, I don't even get anything. I guess you have to, like, get up to him and you have to hold it on him, but um, that's a lot, it's easier said than done. I mean, I guess I could do it up on a sniper as he comes up, uh, or as I come up on him or something like that, but... Yeah, the AEK works really well with this setup. Uh, I've talked about this many videos in the past, and um, in retrospect, when I watched you know, PTFO back, yeah, I may have chosen some weapons that weren't the smartest. I know a lot of you guys like to point out that the L85 is not really good close quarters, and I was well aware of that, um, but the thing is, is I went into it saying this is the class I'm going to use, and I'm going to stick with that class. Like, it would have been really, really easy for me to switch to the M16 and, you know, say, oh, it's, you know, things are getting too tough, I have to switch to the M16. Yeah, I could have done that. Um, I guess in retrospect I should have had some sort of backup weapon, maybe switch to the AEK uh, once we got in there, but the L85 was my, my choice. Uh, I chose it literally as we loaded the map and I was like, alright, I'm going to use something different. Hey, we're playing against some UK guys, why don't I use the L85, you know, a little little homage to their country and, <laughs> you know, it worked out fine. I wasn't disappointed in the L85. Um, I actually started... Um, I didn't show this game at our first map where we were defending. I used the AN-94 and a little bit of the G3, but um, I decided on the second round I was going to go with the L85. And 
Um, it's not the strongest gun in the game, but it's by no means a weak weapon, and it by no means really affected the outcome that much. Because in the end, you know, I played in that tournament for fun. I think a lot of people are forgetting that was about the fans. I mean, that was supposed to be a fan event. That wasn't supposed to be some sort of YouTuber, you know, personal glory thing. And that's the way I approach it. You know, I approach it to have fun. I approach it to play with you guys. And um, I still encourage you guys to vote to be on our team because I am going to be doing some um, some exposi exposition rounds, um, some practice rounds, some scrims with some of the other teams uh, for the round two stuff. So I think we already have our team selected for round two, but I don't know how it works for round three if there is a round three so um, you can still go over there and vote in our poll I know uh, the admin has thrown a bunch of names our way and we'll see if we can get you guys in some scrims you know full round to get you guys a chance to play because a lot of we only had about 20 or 30 people that signed up for our team so I figured you know if I could get through 10 of those at least I would have um, you know kind of encapsulated the spirit of the PTF to or o tournament which was to get fans involved so be sure to go over there and check that out if you were disappointed that you did not get selected. But uh, my team in that was pretty awesome. I did enjoy the guys that we were with, and I thought we did a pretty good job for coming together at the very last minute there um, because we weren't even a team until an hour up to the tournament. So um, it was kind of a last minute thing because, you know, we had some, some backups that needed backups that needed backups. So um, overall, I had a really fun time, and it's kind of got me in this this competitive spirit to the point where I always feel like hey I want to get that brush that I got from you know PTFO because I've never really played competitive battlefield you know I knew it was going to be you know super super different than just running around in a pub match you know spamming nades and you know frag rounds and M26 because it's going to be more about gun skills it's going to be more about map placement map knowledge and that's something I've been practicing a lot on and for some reason, this game I played last night, even though we don't end up, you know, um, pulling it out here in the end, it was a game that to me felt very competitive. It was a game that went down to the wire. It was a game that was a very small amount of tickets. So, um, being in the right spot was really, really important. And I did get a lot of income plant income plants in this. I felt like I was actually contributing a great amount, as the final score will will reflect but you know I enjoyed it and I think I'm gonna try to get more games like this because they're a little bit more exciting to watch than just um, your normal pub matches because it's easy to go you know 50 and 15 in a 64 man metro server but it's not so easy to um, drop as many kills as I had in this on an 8v8 server with some guys that are pretty good so um, I don't know, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Try this class out though. Um, it's one of my go-to non-douche classes um, for close quarters type scenarios and it works fairly well. I mean, obviously the rate of fire is tremendously high and that sometimes is off-putting to a lot of people, but um, yeah, pretty good game. We lost, but you know, we did get to the, what is that, the third set of objectives. We almost got them there at the end, but I will see you guys next time. Be sure to check out either of these two games here, game one of PTFO or game two, depending on which ones you've seen. Uh, I think game two is actually one of the best of the bunch, so check that out, and I, I will see you guys later.